on the housing market to, to have a flourishing national economy? And if so, how are they related? Thank you very much. Look, you can't, uh, the Congresswoman wants me to go first on this one, so thank you very much. Um, look, you can't have one without the other. It's just that simple. You simply cannot have a strong U.S. economy, and we will not have a strong U.S. economy until we work through all of the issues that have doubled us for the last four years. I see it in my own family. You know, I see it in my own family. The, the, call, the phone is just not ringing. You know, my partner's uh, real estate brokerage business has been in the Hudson Valley for the last 16 years. Uh, it sells houses all over Orange County, Sullivan County, the whole area. Um, and you know what it was like in 1998, you know what it was like in 1999, you know what it was like in the early part of the last decade. The phone was ringing, prices were going up, multiple buyers, good comparables. Uh, people could get, uh, you know, the bank would, loan, would actually loan them the money once you got the deal done. Um, you know, we need to get back to that, but we need to do it in a way that is sustainable. And it's built around sensible policies where we're not we're not putting people in homes they can't afford, where banks aren't engaging in predatory practices, where we're policing Fannie and Freddie, where we're doing what works, where we have the right standards to qualify people for mortgages. We've got to be responsible about this. But you cannot have a powerful U.S. economy without a strong housing sector. And the government has a role to play. The government has a role to play. It has got to be there in a complex modern economy to regulate Wall Street, to make sure that Fannie and Freddie are properly regulated as well. One of the biggest problems with the housing crash is that Fannie and Freddie were running them up. She's right, they were. Um, and, but, but, but the solution is not to end it, and the solution is not to rip it apart out of some ideology. The solution is to go back to what works, to, to raise the, the standards, to improve the regulation, to, to put in some private competition, you bet. But I think the most important thing is to restart, report, uh, return growth to the American economy. And the way we're gonna do that is if we get serious about long-term fiscal responsibility. You know, the Paul Ryan budget that my opponent supports does not balance the budget until until 2040. Does everyone know that? Paul Ryan budget, they got all this talk about balancing the budget. They don't do it for 28 years. 28 years before they balance the budget. Because they they, they start by cutting taxes again on top of the Bush era tax cuts for folks at the very top. Five trillion dollars they want to give to folks at the very top. While they cut Medicare, while they end Medicare, as we know, she voted for that twice. We've got to start making good choices again. But what we've got to do is we've got to do what we did in the Clinton years. We've got to, we've got to, we've got to bring back some tax fairness. We've got to invest in education and infrastructure and our people. And we've got to, we've got to respect the private sector. And what we did in the 90s speaks for itself. We created 23 million jobs, 800,000.